Steve Robbins are no longer a sign of spring. There's no denying that this winter has been pretty mild. Data from our News 9 meteorologist shows Concord is seeing its second warmest winter to date. And looking at snowfall over the past five years, we've been seeing below average levels. And if you've been out and about, you've probably noticed more birds or other animals. There are definitely things moving north. Pamela Hunt, a senior conservation biologist with New Hampshire Audubon, says over the past several decades, birds that spend the winter in the southern part of the country have been coming back up north earlier. And other birds, like robins or bluebirds, that used to leave in the winter are instead sticking around. And whether that's climate change or not, it's hard to say, but they're, you know, they're getting quite common all winter. They don't really leave. Some granite staters say they're already seeing flowers start to bloom in parts of the state. So we have definitely been getting uh, some stories of seeing some um, what we might consider some early blooming. Steph Sosinski with UNH Extension says a lot of plants operate on what's called chilling hours, temperatures that range between 32 and 45 degrees, which we've been seeing a lot of in recent months. What we're seeing out there is those plants who got the memo that it's time even though it's, we know we're going to see more freezing temperatures. We're getting snow this week. What can you do to protect those early bloomers? Well, Sosinski says that mulching is important to protect buds as best you can. And plants in our region are used to a winter thaw, but it's really these extreme deeper fluctuations like we saw from yesterday into today that are providing more of a shock to the system. Live at Lake Massabesic, I'm Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.